Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. I'm back. I'm, well, I'm out of isolation. I'm feeling heaps better. <clears throat> and my mystery box from, what was it called? Mel Melbourne Secret Sales is here. And it's, it's, I don't even know if this will be able to be uh, fit in shot. And it's open, so, because I wanted to see if it was like a box within a box, but it's not. So I'm going to. <laughs> it's huge um, and when I ordered it it gave you the option of light medium or dark and the only reason I can think of is because it would give you a powder concealer foundation something like that so I'm going to try and do a full face of makeup with everything in this mystery box and I'm just gonna see you know go oh, first up I would use a primer Let's see if we can find a primer. Next up would be foundation. Let's see if we can find a foundation. Let me let me see if I can open the box. Oh, I have a gift voucher for 10% off my next order. Let's just... I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold this up without everything falling out. <laughs> you can't even see all of it. That's how huge this box is. Okay, so, are they primers? No, they are hand creams. Look, just, this bag is huge. <clears throat> okay, so I can see a few things, hang on a second, let me, I can see a few things that aren't makeup. So maybe let's start with those. We've got these, Planet Earth Pure Simplicity um, Hand Creams. Let's have a look. Let me get you off. It comes in a really cool, like, tin box, actually. Oh, look at that. Okay, so cocoa butter, lemongrass and lime, geranium and bergamot, green pear and mango, ooh, wild fig and vanilla. So they're all like little hand creams, and that's just so cool and I really like the box that it comes in as well so that's I actually thought that this was all going to be makeup so I'm actually kind of impressed by that I've got nowhere to put things um I'm just gonna have to put it there right body wash this is it's actually a bit marked I don't know what's marked it but it's all coming off of my hand this is the si simmering body wash by DB Glow, I think is the brand. Oh, it smells nice. Has it got like a flavour on it? A flavour. Um, scent. So it's got rapeseed oil, a oh, grapeseed oil, sorry, licorice root extract, and oh, orchid extract, and willow herb. Hmm. <coughs> I can see another one of these. Okay, so I'm guessing the brand is DB, and then that one was Glow, and this one is Kind. This is a nourishing body lotion. Look at that for a body lotion. That's huge. That's 500 mils. So in this one, we have Kakadu Plum, in Inca Berry, Nettle, and Davidson Plum. <clears throat> oh, that does smell really, really, really good. Um, what's this? Is this... I think this is a perfume. I've just realised my camera is all wonky. Oh, hang on guys. Hang on, let me just... Okay, I think that's good. I don't think that's going anywhere. Anyway, perfume, I think. It says, well, it looks like a little perfume on the back there, doesn't it? Reminds me of something. Okay. Oh, that is just a little bit fancy. Um, I think you'd say the brand Kooky. Kooky. I don't know. It's there. I know it's backwards, but it's there anyway. Um, and this is the scent floral. Oh. Mm, 
and it is a really nice subtle floral sort of scent. Hmm, I like that. I'll get some use out of it. A little thing came off, but that's all right. Let's see a bag. Okay. Did not expect that. Okay. This is by DB, so it's designer brands, and this is called P Bright Poppy Makeup Travel Case. Take the paper out. And it is just a, it's a good size actually. Nice little travel case. I quite like that. I mean, I'm not really into flowers, but I do need a new travel case. There we go. Right, what else have we got? Right, I think we've got to move into the bag now. And you know what? I'm just going to tip everything from the bag into the box. Because that's just going to make my life so much easier. Oh, this is a... Whoa. That is a lot of stuff. Okay, I can see some random hair stuff, I think. So this is... Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula with Vitamin E Pre-Shampoo. Works on hair before shampoo. Okay. Hydro Ceramide Formula fortifies hair and helps prevent breakage. Cool. Okay, what's this one? It's another Palmer's Natural Fusions Chai Seed and Argan Oil Hair Mask. I've never used a hair mask. That is awesome. Deep conditions and boosts hydration. Awesome. Have we got any more of those? Right. Wipes, I think. So this is triple value, tri oh, triple action cleansing wipes. Anti-wrinkle. Removes makeup from face, neck and eyes. Cleanse tones. Moisturize. Awesome. Face wipes. Okay. <clears throat> I can see what looks like a foundation and a concealer. And I'm so sure I picked light because if I picked light I could go over with um, a darker concealer or uh, bronzer or something to help bring the color up or even mix the foundations but now that I'm looking at them I don't know if that's what I did <laughs> okay right there is just so much stuff I'm honestly a little overwhelmed <laughs> Um, oh, hand sanitizer. What did I just drop on the floor? Oh, I just dropped something on the floor. Hang on a second. I'm going to need that. Some hand sanitizer, anyway. Always good in this day and age. Okay. Right. I'm looking for a primer. Is this a primer? No. Okay, well, I can't see what I would call a primer. I don't think. Um, I will go through it all anyway and we'll see what we get. But I got a CC cream, another CC cream. Um, this one is by the brand Mud. And this CC cream is medium to dark, hydrating color corrector, SPF 30. Um, I think that's going to be far too dark for me, so I'll put that to the side. And this CC cream, this is lightweight and illuminating. It's in the shade medium, so I might be able to get away from that. But looking at that, even in person, it looks very, very yellow. And I know it's a colour correcting cream, but uh, I wouldn't really use something like that anyway. Okay, then we have this. I must have gone medium. This is the Australis Stay Put Longwear Foundation. For up to 16 hours wear, SPF 30, and this is in the shade Honey. Um, might be okay for me, actually. How do you get into this? Is there a way? Hang on, my knife is underneath the camera. Um, maybe I did change it. Maybe they gave me the wrong one. I don't know. But we're just going to have a look at this lovely foundation and see if it's going to be... Anywhere near my shade. Okay. Hmm. I could 
probably get away with that. Um, I'm not, I don't have a primer, so where's my hair clip? There it is. Let me get this out of the way and grab my mirror and see how this goes. Actually, that's not bad at all. It's not too dissimilar to the foundation I wear for work in colour wise. My hair's getting in the way. I remember thinking when I did my last video, my last makeup video, that it looked really yellow on camera but not that bad in person. I feel the same about this one actually. I hope the music's not too loud today. I was fiddling with it earlier. Oh, it smells good too. Okay. Now I probably would. Mm, I probably would on a normal day blend it down my neck properly, but and nobody got time for that when they can't edit. Um, I do have I have organised for someone to come over and sort my computer out because there's a few bits and pieces wrong with it. Um, yeah. We'll work that out when we get there. Uh, usually I wouldn't put foundation right underneath my eyes. I would put concealer under there, but we don't have a concealer. So I'm just going to bend it under here. Just, just a little bit. Oh, the tip of my nose looks very dark. Okay. Yeah. Um, feels nice. Blended nicely. Not a bad color match in person. I do look a little yellow on the camera. Um, yeah, all good, very, very good. Um, right, well, next I would do my bronzer or contour. What's this? Nope. Oh, a powder. We have a powder. I forgot about that. So this is by the brand Mode, and it just says pressed powder. This is in the shade Silky Beige, so it should fit. Fit match. And they give you a nice little foamy thing. And I'm just going to put that in the bin, but it's a nice pressed powder. Where's the powder brush? Hopefully they might actually tone down the yellow a little bit. Oh, or not. Seems to be working pretty well. It has mattified my skin. Has it made me look a little bit more yellow? I don't think so. Oh no, I mean, what can you say? It's a pressed powder. As long as it's not too dark and it doesn't, you know, mess up your foundation or anything, it's fine. So, right. We were, I was talking about uh, bronzer before. Let me just, oh, now I find a primer. So this is the Australis Primer, the original, prevents foundation fading, smooths and refines, moisturise, silicone free. Uh, yeah, that's that's the primer. A bit late for that now, but primers are always appreciative. Right, hang on. Let me just... There's so many things like this. Um... This, you know, so many things in like pens and stuff that I just have no idea. That's an eyeshadow palette. So that for later. Um, is that like a liquid? Um, oh, I think that's a lipstick. Okay, we don't want a lipstick. Oh gosh, alright, I'm just going to pick things up one by one and we're going to have to go from there. This looks like a blush. We have a little blush. So this is again by Australis. This is a powder blush in the shade Ablaze. I like that. It's very small, but that's alright. Oh. It's like not in its own little container or box or anything. It's just sort of in a flimsy piece of plastic. Oh, this mystery box cost me, I think, $50. I've just realised I made two orders on that website. They must have come in the same box. 
Maybe all the skin care stuff was a different order. Uh, yeah, so anyway. <laughs> we can deal with we can deal with that. Where did the box go? I'll leave it in the box so at least I know what it is. Okay. It's matte. And seeing as I don't think I have a bronzer, I'm going to put lots on. I hope the music's not too loud for you guys today. I think I already said that, but, you know. Here we go. Nice. I mean, I liked it. Nice colour. Blended nicely. Applied nicely. Yeah. Great. Right. Now I'm just going to pull some things out. A lot of them and I can see are lipsticks and eyeshadows and stuff. So we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So we have this. Wow, that looks really dark on the camera. This is again by Australis. This is a Metallics eyeshadow in the shade Bronze Marley. Let's open her up and have a proper look. Twist. There we go. Oh, super creamy. Wow. I might even wear that tonight. I'm going out tonight, so I might actually wear that. That's beautiful. Okay. I'm running out of room here, but that's okay. <clears throat> um, there's another one that's in a packaging. This is in the, this is the same sort of one. It's Australist. Aust I think I'm saying that like that right. Australis Metallics Eyeshadow. This one is in the shade Gold Gaga. Oh, hang on. I might even save this video for when I'm able to edit. That might work. Okay. Whoa. It's almost like a cream, but it's... Oh, that's so pretty. Wow. It's like super, super, super creamy. Um, this isn't the same sort of thing. Is that the same sort of one? Yes, this is the same sort of one. Um, again, same Australist Metallics eyeshadow. This is in the shade Pearl Jammin. I like that. Pearl Jammin. Mm -hmm. Oh. Whoa, almost looks the same as the gold one. That's it there. It's similar to the gold, but it's a bit brighter, a bit lighter, I suppose. Um, and then we've got one, same, same brand, Australis, but this is a shimmer pigment pot in the shade. I have no idea. Ultra shimmer, apply wet or dry loose pigment. Oh, I might stay away from a loose pigment, but let's let's have a look at it anyway. Let's let's take it out of this container, and at least then we can see what color it is because I can't see what color it is. Okay, uh, this is in the shade tantalizing taupe. And it is a taupey sort of colour, but it's not something that I would ever use. So I'm going to find a home for that one. Um, I can see so many different things. Okay, let's go with this one. Again, by Australis. This is the Intense Sparkle uh, All That Glitters palette. Let's have a look. I mean, I'm not going to use it today, but it does look very interesting. go wow get rid of that it's that is just pure glitter i love it there you go can you see pure glitter very nice well maybe not very nice but you know what i mean that was close <clears throat> there is still so much in here i i i, I can't believe it Okay, we have another eyeshadow. This is an eyeshadow powder. And this is the shade on fleek. It looks like a similar one to the blush. Yeah, it is. It's a similar sort of thing to the blush. So I won't take it out of there. I'll just leave it in its little box. 
if I can, close it, that would be great. Okay, um, I need to just rearrange this a little. Okay, right. We have this. Uh, this is by Mode. It's a liquid eyeliner. It's in the shade Black. Um, I have no idea how to do eyeliner, uh, like liquid liner. Absolutely no idea. Um, and it is a lot difficult, a lot more difficult to do it when you are uh, got hooded eyes like me. But anyway, I can practice now. Um, I think that might be it for like eyeshadows and stuff. So I'll show you this one. This is the Smoky Glam, DB Smoky Glam 12 Eyeshadow Palette. Oh. Take this. Anyway. There we go. Nice big mirror on it. I like that. Can I get the cellophane off, please? Oh, and it comes with a brush. Let's use this to just quickly chuck some eyeshadow on. I think I'm just going to have to go for this one because this one says Queen. Um, and I'll use their fancy brush. So I'm going to use this one here. This is called Style. Just as a transition colour. Oh, this brush is horrid. No. No. Where's my big fluffy blending brushes? Not that one. That's the one I use for highlighter. Oops. There we go. A little bit of fallout, but that's all right. I think I might do this as the first editing video. I don't know. I mean, going for 22 minutes, so yeah, I might hold on to this one until I'm able to edit. Right, now I'm going to go in with the shade Haze, which is this one. I'm, it's, it is quite similar to the first one, but I'm just going to build it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, next I might go in with Charm, this one down here, just to put through my crease a little bit. Oh, that's a lot darker than I expected. And I need to do some blending on that, but that's okay. Charm. I really struggle when I do my eyeshadow to get them even. Like that, like how, 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 you can't really see it on the camera, but. There we go. Right, I'm going to get a different brush. <clears throat> and go in with this shade Queen. Let's give this a go. Whoa. Yes, Queen. I like that a lot. Yes. Love it. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but... Alright. That'll do. That will do. I like that. Pretty good palette. Never heard of the brand or anything before, so yeah, very nice. Right, let's just do this one because it's it's there, it's in front of me. This is the Mist Me Setting Spray White Gold Shimmer again by DB. Okay, nice fine mist. Smells nice. See if it does the job. Oh, I've just realised. <laughs> I grabbed this out before thinking it might be a primer, but no, this is a liquid highlighter. Um, this is by the brand, again, Australis Liquid Strobe Illuminating Drops, which liquid highlighter, highlighter to me. This is in the shade Gold. Well, it might be a bit dark for me, and I'm not really a liquid highlight sort of girl, so I'll find a new home for that one. Right. We've got lots of lipsticks, so let's crack on with lipsticks. 
I'll try and do all of the br like same brand ones first. So Australis, we've got this one. This is the lightweight tinted colours. Okay, let's open it up and have a look. Okay, this is a lip slip lip oil and it is in the shade Exotic. I would never use anything like this or so find a new home for it. Um, then we've got this one. This is another lip oil by Australis and it's in the shade Negligee. Again, not going to use something like that so I will find a new home for it. Um, this one. Uh, this is by the brand Colour Sensational, I think. This is a matte lipstick in the shade Touch of Spice. If I could get it off, oh, it's got a, it's got a thing on it, and it looks like a nice sort of nudie brown sort of colour. Oh, and there's one on the other side too. Usually, there's one on either side. Why well, can't I? Oh. There we go. Ooh. Might be the colour I use. I quite like that. Okay, now we have... Uh, oh, I was going to do it all by brand, wasn't I? Oh, well. Anyway, we have another one in the shade Red Revival. Again, I'm not sure about the brand. Oh, this says Maybelline on this one. Maybe the other one was Maybelline as well, but the sticker was covering it up. Anyway, Maybelline Red Revival, red lipstick, beautiful. Okay, so we're back to Australis now. This is in the shade, it's not written on there, Chick. Classic sort of nude colour. I've got someone who would love that because uh, I have loads of nude lipsticks. Uh, this is by Mode. This is another lipstick. This is in Fab Pink. Oh, I thought that was a red colour. I'm going to have to edit this video. It's a very pink colour. I don't know if I'd wear anything like that, but could come in handy. Oops. All right, we have another one by Australis. This is in the shade. Oh, gosh. Exclusive. Ooh. Oh, that is a beautiful dark nudie brown sort of colour. Beautiful. Um, another one by Mode. This is in the shade Heartbreaker. Oh. And it's a it's a red colour. Do love myself a red. I wonder what the consistency is of these. Okay, they look matte because they look just look like a cheap lipstick so I thought they were going to be quite sheer but oh, that actually looks quite good very impressed okay we have another one by Australis this is in the shade Vogue Vogue another red perfect um I think this is Australian Australis Girl Boss Demi Matte Lip Cream in the shade Count Countless. Oops. Demi Matte. So it's like half matte, sort of matte. I don't know. Let's see if it smells nice. Ooh, it smells like um, lollies or something. It smells really nice, actually. Anyway, there's that one. And we've got quite a few of these, so I'll just race through them really quick. This is Advocate. Why are they so difficult to open? There we go. Oops. Oh, that's very pale. That's like a concealer lip. Sort of pale. No, not my sort of thing. I'll find a new home for that one. 
Um, this one, they all seem to be demi-matte demi lip cream. Uh, this one is in the shade Exceeded, I think is how you would pronounce it. So many freaking things in here and I can't, like if I could show you the shade of them, I, oh, you can sort of see, but if I could show you the shade of them without having to open everything, that would be great. But this is like a goldy sort of colour. That's almost like a lip topper. Like a, you can't even you can see where it's shiny, but yeah, not, not a fan of that one. This one you can see because it's pink. This is in the shade Passion. This is another Girl Boss's Demi Matte Lip Cream. Right. What's this one? Another one by Australis. This is the Voluptuous Matte Lip Cream in the shade Byron Bay. Uh, that's the shade there. Very nice. I know someone who wants lots of... Uh, nude lipsticks so I'm going to give it to her another girl boss one you can see it is a lovely purple color this is in the shade courageous yep you need to be courageous to wear that color but I love purple I'm going to keep that one all right we've got another Australis Valencia lips matte lip cream in the shade Jai Jai Purr anyway it's a nice pink sort of color awesome um what's this I don't know if you can see that gap there. A bit different. Anyway, Australis Slay All Day Lip Satin Lipstick. This is Slay Like Bay. I like that one. Very nice. Uh, what's in this box? Oh, okay. We'll leave that for later. Um, right. What have we got here? Lip Art Graphic Liner and Liquid Lipstick. Okay, by Rimmel. Cool. Smells a bit funky, but anyway, very nice. This is in the shade Go Hard. I like that. Uh, what else we got? We've got another one here. This is in the shade Vibes. Nice pink sort of colour. And a very, very bright pink one in the shade own your power and another red one hot spot very nice a browny sort of one this is the same sort of thing no it's not this is the same sort of thing yes another sort of purpley sort of toned one in vandal different okay right what's this Okay, so we have an eyeshadow crayon. This is by Australist Velvet Eyeshadow Crayon in the shade Wist, Wist, Wistera. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like a goldy colour. I'm really liking eyeshadow crayons at the moment, actually. So, Okay, we have a... Was by L'Oreal L'Oreal Infallible Gel Crayon Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Super Copper. I don't know if you'd be able to see that, but hang on. It's a coppery colour. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm not going to use it though. Ooh. Okay, so this is a mode eyebrow pencil and the lid gives you a little like brush. Um, this is in the shade dark brown, so it might be too dark for me, but let's give it a go. I've never used anything like this before, um, like a pencil. So let's brush up my hairs, make sure they're all nice and neat. And I never like structure my brows too much. I just sort of fill them in a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do with this. Doesn't seem to be very pigmented, but it is doing the job. I think if I pushed really hard, it would be too dark. But seeing as I'm literally just using it to 
feeling in my brows. I think I can get away with that. What do you guys think? I think I can get away with that. Right, I'll be keeping that one. Um, right, well, I haven't got a lipstick on yet, so I'm going to put go back to this one. This was the, I think it was a Maybelline one in the shade Touch of Spice, because this one looked the most interesting. Okay. Oh, God. Failed that a little bit. But that's all right. I need a new mirror because sometimes thing you know that happens. I'll show you. Hmm. Anyway, I shouldn't need that. Anymore. Um. So we have. I'm gonna go back to these for a moment. What do we have here? This is a Revlon Colorstay brow tint in the shade taupe. Oh. Let's give it a go. I assume it's like a like a wand or oh no. That's very light, but I could maybe get away with it. But anyway, it's just yeah, looks like that. I'll give it a go. Not right now, because I've got this on my face. Um so I have another one. Brown mousse in soft brown. What's a brown mousse? If I can get it open, I might just find out. Oh, goodness. They don't make them hard to get into, do they? No, not at all. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. So you've got a, like, spooly thing. And then here, I think you twist... I don't know, nothing's happening. No. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, let me just wipe off some of that. Oh, okay. Let's just... I wonder if the mousse... Is a mousse like a setting... Setting gel sort of thing? It's a bit hard to see if it'll match me because I've already got... Uh, whoa, that's very brown. Or is that just my imagination? And yeah, is it setting... Like a setting gel? Is that what a mousse is? Or is it just a thing to put colour on? I don't know. But it's a cool product. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, a lip pencil by Australis in the shade Bewitched. It's this colour here. Very interesting. I don't need a lip pencil. Another brow pencil in the shade Brown. Don't need that at the moment. So the last thing we've got is this. This is a mascara. This is the Australis Fake It Black Volumizing Mascara. And I have no idea how to get it out of its box. Okay, it's very small, very bristly wand, it looks like it's dried out. Okay, so it does work. Yeah, it's, it's not really doing anything. It's very dry. Um, not my favourite. It could work if you've got, if you just want like natural. Um, it would work if you've just got, nat if you want natural eyelashes. But I'm not really feeling it right now, so... Yay. Uh, so, yeah, that's everything in my monstrous mystery box. Uh, hopefully this video has been edited and I haven't been sitting here for 40 minutes in your real time. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. I will see you in the next video, which might be a 
vlog i'm not sure yet but i'll see you there like and subscribe for more you know you know the drill blah 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 thanks guys see ya